What's up, you guys? It is Tuesday. I'm tardy for the party. But hey, I made it. Y'all made it. We made it. It's all that matters, right? Today, I'm going to attempt to make a free form geode with this. This is a shaper sheet. I believe I said that right. Um, not that it's hard to pronounce or anything, but I sometimes don't speak right and forget things because you know me Meh. um i had my hair cut today and lightened by the amazing Cruz. you may remember him from when his dear wife passed away we had the fundraiser um her name is laura and she is still very much on our um, hearts and minds and he is an amazing hairdresser anyways um, I think my cameras are too yellow but Jeff will be here in a minute and he can help us, us me to um, fix that anyways cue the music good boy uh uh nope Boy, enough. Can't be barking like that, babies. So it may be a little bit yellow. But when he gets here, I'll ask him to help us to fix it. Meantime, this is the packaging. What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Um, this is the shaper sheet package. Um, it's mainly used for like dioramas. It's not going to focus. Like landscapey things. Volcanoes, apparently. It says, oh, um, while I am doing a review of this product, this is in no way sponsored or paid. I bought this myself. Um, and since we're doing um warnings and psas and all that uh wear a respirator if you feel like you need to i probably should just because you never know but i have a very well ventilated space and if i had something over me so um resin at your own risk find the full disclaimer down in the description box below um, you can model all types of terrain. The strong and pliable sheet holds its form, can be shaped and reshaped. They also have a whole bunch of other stuff that they try to sell you on this same page. This gives you ideas of what you can do. And also, apparently, if you need to enlarge your shaper sheet, you can peel back the foil from the fuzz, I guess. And there's it's tacky and you can just join the two halves and it'll stick to itself. Echo. Is it better? I don't know why sometimes it echoes and sometimes it doesn't. I have no idea. Is it better? Sweet. All right, so this shaper sheet comes in this size and like a double wide size. In retrospect, I should have gotten the bigger size. But tis what it is. So I'm going to attempt to do a free formed... shape it cuts pretty easily this is basically aluminum foil and since it already looks like ripley's that you would find on the bottom of an ocean i figured i would do like an ocean colored thing to test it let's see if you can shape and reshape it it appears that you can 
It's kind of like they took some felt backing and then took aluminum tape and just made this. And I suppose that would be um, an easy way to make your own DIY at home shaper sheet. I'm not gonna do the the um, adjoining thing because I haven't really eaten today. And Jeff is on his way home with food. Hey, Clara. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. So, and it says to do the corners, if you do do corners, kind of like a fitted sheet or a package. Whoop, where are you? So, I'm going to fold it up and then fold it back. And that's gonna be my corner. Boop. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Fold it up and then fold it back. And on this side, up and back. And then up and back. And I'm gonna take some of this Walder Strong tape to just make sure my corners are, this may be too, too much strongness for the tape that I need for this, but that's what we're going to do. Just to try to ensure that I'm not going to have any leaky leaks. I am really excited about trying this because if this works and everything comes out without any issues then it's really gonna like change the game for anyone out there that wants to do their own freeform shapes because I know personally that that was always kind of my my struggle with freeforms is that I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna have to create a shape out of silicone. I don't want to have to wait for it to dry and build layers and layers. I just don't want to. Why can't I just make a shape? And so hopefully this will be that. So bam! I bet you could probably bake with this too if you wanted to create your own cake shape. Oh, and so I've got these crystals from Just Resin. I've got some these the coral, and I've got these gold mm, pyrite. No, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to probably end up using these guys as, like, handles for my little tray. I think that would be super cute. Bam, since it's going to be oceany colored anyways. Okay, I got a little bit of length cut off. Do you guys like it? I think I'm gonna go more pastel -y lavender next time I visit Cruz. Nay, nay, how you doing, girl? How you been? How you momming him? Okay. We got hair all the way up on top of my head as possible because y'all know how bad I am about um, getting my, putting my all into the resin, including hair and whatnot. Oh, thanks, Nene. What length? Oh, I don't know. Bra strappy range. I have some casting epoxy, but I don't feel like opening it right now. So I'm going to use art coat. Um, I did. Okay. I don't. 10 ounces is not going to be enough. I need a bigger thingy. I know. That's what she said. I also considered using diamond coat but I'm not sure how deep I can pour diamond coat. 
And I had hoped Just Resin would be in the house by now because she said she was going to stop by. Um, so I can ask her how deep I could pour diamond coat. The casting epoxy from stone coat you can pour up to three inches. I don't know how many ounces that's going to take, but let's see what we're going to do. Maybe we'll just go with 16 ounces. Boop. Um, Claudia, it is neither. This is um, something called a shaper sheet. And it's for building like mountains and volcanoes and stuff for like dioramas. And I thought that if they can use it for that, then why can't I use it for resin? Because typically resin doesn't stick to aluminum. So we're just going to see about that. So 8 and 8 would be 16. Whenever you're ready, resin, just get to the line. Right. So. Natasha is here. Natasha, how deep can you pour diamond coat? I just was curious. Hey, Kim, I got your message. Sorry, I haven't written back yet. What's up, happy? Whew. I hope you guys are um, staying safe over there. In your neck of the woods, Natasha. Hey, Judy. Um, for those just coming in, I am using a product called a shaper sheet, and it is aluminum on one side and like a felt kind of, or a cotton, I don't know what, on the other. And people that do dioramas, use this to create any kind of terrain because you can bend it any type of way and it will stay there but you can also unbend it and you can use it and reuse it i don't know how many times you can reuse it particularly with resin we're going to find out together um and i was telling them natasha that i was going to use diamond coat but i wasn't sure how deep i could pour it you can use diamond coat for casting, however, it is rather thick. It may not release all the bubbles. Okay. Are you going to be doing, um, well, thank you, Holly. Are you going to be doing, a casting epoxy or do you have one? I know you have a UV epoxy as well, which I have to review for you guys too. Um, Nene, I know it may not be the best for baking a cake because I don't know what kind of chemicals are on the opposite side of this. Like obviously you can bake with aluminum foil, but I don't know about this side. Um, Kim, there are some wildlife preservation charities already set up that you can donate to for the Australian uh, wildfires. What's up, What I Creations? Thank you for um, tuning in. Can't wait for that, Just Rising. You guys always have awesome products. Okay. Trying not to shake the camera as I do this. Just do your research on those, Kim. There's going to be a lot of, I'm sure, people doing horrible things and, um, setting up fake charities to turn a buck 
I'm positive. Just keep an eye out. Um, Natasha, I'm going to use some of these awesome stones, but I can't remember what color they are. If you could help me out. They've got that Aurora multicolor sheen to them. Judy, I got it off Amazon, and I have that linked down in the description box. Whoop! I just hit camera. If you click on our Amazon link down below, it'll take you right to everything that I use on the channel that I don't sell in the shop. Aren't they great, Jennifer? Just Rose and Pigments never disappoint. Just Resin is actually doing a raffle right now. $10 AUD tickets to win $500 in a prize pack. 100% of the proceeds are being donated to the Brush Fire Relief. Um, Natasha, if you could link the charity that you're giving to, that might help um, other people that want to contribute. I don't know if you can see them that good in that camera. Or even in this one. They're like an aqua or blue color. And then they have that Aurora sheen to them. Thank you, JJ. He just added the link. Want the resin cure and stick to the foil. Lisa, resin's not supposed to stick to aluminum. We're going to put that to the test today. Aqua Aurora sounds exactly right. Teresa, I wish I was doing something more elaborate. Um, for this piece, but since I'm not sure how this is going to go, I didn't want to put too much into it. So we're doing not plain, but definitely not making, you know, a freeform hat or a rose, let's say. Exactly, Claire. And I know on their website they do talk about the brush fire. Uh, foundation that she's donating to as well. Agreed, Teresa. I like experimenting too. Linda says she just ran out of Midnight Blue from Just Resin. Uh, that's probably one of my all-time favorite blues ever. <laughs> hey, Gail. Mary, I don't think it will, but we will find out together. And if it does, I'm just going to have to belt sand it off. Hey. Every time. Every time. Okay. So the colors I'm going to use to dir are Illuminate Illuminates, uh Blue Translucent Dye. Ooh, I thought I got the ocean one, but it's fine. I'm also using the turquoise tint from Just Resin. It's gorgeous. I haven't used it in a while. I had to open a new one. I think I let someone borrow my last one and never got it back. You know who you are. Hi, Laura Taylor. All right, let's move this out of the way a little bit. The boys are excited that Jeff is home. No shocker there. <gasps> uh. Whoops. Excuse me? How's it look? I'm going through a crisis over here. I don't have time to play games with you. Yes, I spilled some resin. <gasps> it's true. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey y'all, hey y'all. What's up, Robin Moore? I'm just picking up the resin that I just spilled. Laura Taylor, I don't have... Wait, do you have the button? The button? Yeah. 
Yes. Right there. Well, thank you. Uh oh. She's being amazing. Hey, will you do me a quick favor and help me with the? I couldn't get the color right on my that, and it looks like it's yellow. Laura. <coughs> Sweet. She's being what are we awesome. doing here? We got overhead? Yeah. I agree, Linda. Laura Taylor, I really appreciate you doing that. You have no idea. It's tax season. Gulp. You have no color on here. No. It. But it was all yellowy, so I had no idea how to fix it. But I'm glad you're here because you can help me. He helped me. Taylor. I hope work has been going well for you, Laura. I hope Jerry's not too upset about his truck getting smashed. Okay, so this is just three drops of the turquoise. And it looks a little bit blue on this camera, but it's... oh. That's a good color representation. Isn't she amazing? So the tint is a buildable color. And it's going to be a little bit translucent for me because I want to be able to see all of what I've got going on. I just want it to look slightly like a melted Jolly Rancher. I'm glad he's doing okay, Laura. I know he had his heart attached to that truck. Isn't that beautiful? Like right when the water rushes up. That's what water it looks like. Water rushes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you tell him about your prints you have that you put online? I didn't. I haven't had time. I am starving. This is one drop of Illumilite I thought would be just fine, but obviously it went absolutely to midnight on me. In a second. That's what I like about Just Resin's tints. They're pigmented but buildable. The Illumilites. Okay. <laughs> the Illumilite is blue translucent dye. And the one from Just Resin is turquoise. Hey Justine. Just Resin, thank you Natasha. Yeah, it's so concentrated. It's really hard to control it. I'm loving this. You know how when the water comes up on shore, it kind of turns to a green hue because the blue is reflecting off of, like, the sand color? That's what I'm seeing with that. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of white. That's too much. And for this, I'm going to use Casting Craft just because I haven't used it in a while. Natasha, you would show up the one day I don't use titanium. Natasha? She's awesome, possum. They were shut down from like the 20-something to the 7th. So they're playing absolute catch-up. Isn't Laura amazing? I don't know if I've missed one. Laura said, YouTube can take their damn cut. Here's another. She's so awesome. Okay. So now we've got... I need to put something over this because I don't want the back of that to get sticky. Sticky. Beautiful. 
See, I'm making my own freeform shape, like a boss. Mm. I had a beautifully busy day, and I hope all of y'all did too. Okay, I'm gonna pour some clear in. I'm gonna hope that this will weigh it down enough to keep it flat. That's one thing that may end up being a little difficult is um, keeping it flat because I crumpled it. Let that be a lesson to all y'all at home. I feel like I'm decorating some kind of like a long cake. Oh, I love that color. I'm just going to fill it up with this color. Technically, I probably should have like all the dark blue on one side because that should be like the depths. But I kind of don't care about that. I just want it to be all of the blues. So this isn't going to be like a shoreline situation. It's going to be um, out in the ocean. Just all the colors of blue. Hashtag don't judge me bro. I'm going to mix some more of that. Y'all. I think I'm going to have to mix more resin anyways because I'm only like an eighth inch up. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. I think I only have like eight of these turquoises left. So if you don't have one, get to getting because I'm not going to have many for long after this video posts and we are still doing our giveaway with um, the scratch offs I don't like wasting even a drop of resin so I always do the scoop Keep in mind that if you do this as well and get every drop out, um, that you really need to make sure that you thoroughly mix your resin. So that means scraping the sides, the bottom, and your stir stick in your process. Pardon, love? What'd you say? Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to mix some more resin. I don't have another one of these open. Without trying to avoid it. How'd it go? I find that happens a lot with dirty pores, though. Looks like I'm going to need a whole nother. I'm mixing another like 20 ounces. I swear you wouldn't think that this little thing would need that much, but plot twist. It's deeper than you think. You're gonna let them have that one. Back in business. Hey, Angelic. There we are. All the that's what she says is. 
I didn't find any lost packages at the post office. I've sent out claims for a couple of lost packages here lately. Anything that gets returned to us gets returned straight to our door. Would Laura's four donations count towards four scratch-off tickets? Sure. Guys, I just ordered some more ATD sweatshirts. I love them. They're so soft. I'm so glad you like those. We wear the hoodies every day. In fact, Jeff gets kind of upset if I wear his because I have my own, but I want to wear his because that's what we do. Listen. That's all I got to say about that. I want one of the nothing but a poor artist sweatshirts. I think that one's from Teespring. Jeff has a new line of stuff coming out called, what's, what's on them? Hey, yeah, it's I'm an artist till death, which I think is too cute. I think I might add some gold leaf into this guy. What do y'all think? Gold leaf or no gold leaf? You wear them to work. Thank you, Clara. I'm glad you get it. I knew you would. What's up, Maureen? I mean, Maureen. I'm wearing mine now because it's super cold. It's actually beautiful here today. Thank goodness. I'm going to go ahead and pre-pop some of these little bubblies. Art code is typically not supposed to be poured too thick so what's going to happen is if your resin's too thick then it's harder for the bubbles to release up to the surface so if i pop them as i go and then check back on it every so often um then I can pop the bubbles as they rise up near the surface. If they can't release, then I can just hit it with a little heat and that will make them release for me. Swan wrapped in the middle of the ocean. I might just do that. Strips of white, maybe. And now my credit card is digging a tunnel out of my room. That's funny. How about a shark fin? If I could paint stuff like that, I totally would. Maybe I can employ um, this fella that I know to paint a shark fin for me. For what? On my this. Paint a shark fin? Yeah, after it sets up, like in in middle layer. Minus 40. That's insane! Eva, I don't know. I, Jeff wouldn't leave the house if it was minus anything. Fog all day in Galveston. Huh? A lot of people would. That's too much I'm going to pour some of this out onto the side just in case I decide to make another color out of it. Because all of this is going to go turquoise. Minus 10 in Vancouver. Nope. Happy says it's 77 here in Savannah, Georgia. And it's beautiful in Tennessee. Um, it was beautiful today. It was a little rainy this morning, but Oh, I ran into our old neighbor B. He asked how you were doing. He was going on a bike ride. Mm. It's a little bit more green than is showing in this video, but I'll do a true uh, color video and show y'all. I'm going to add some blue sparkle bling it this to give a little bit more flair 
but I don't want to make it opaque so I'm just tapping in a little bit just a little tap tap Laura Taylor <laughs> she is We have a special gift pack coming to you, and you have all of the, look how beautifully glittery and aqua-y that is. Where are you? There you are. I got some stuff coming to you, Laura Taylor. Um, okay. So, you know the other day when I did, she's going to make me ugly cry on camera again. I can, I can feel it in my bones. Um, I did the geode molds and I added some some um, just drops of the tint and let it just work its way in. I'm going to do that with this as well. I think it'll look really neat. Just have some like floating. Bits of color. Laura Taylor, you would love Clara. She is absolutely a hoot and she is very amazing as well. All you ladies are amazing. I wish you guys could see the depth in this and the beautiful colors that are in it from this camera. But I will do a true color video so that you can see it. Okay, now let's add some heat. I'm going to use this platypus attachment so that I can further mix everything together. And then we're going to add some white and then we're going to add the handles of this little makeshift tray. That's awesome, Happy. Clara, thank you. <laughs> Y'all are so amazing. Natasha, I hope that just just resin. <laughs> they dropped a dollar too. They really are trying to make me ugly cry here on camera. Natasha, when are you guys going to do more videos? You know that's all we binge watched when we first started doing resin. Remember the ocean from the balcony? It actually looks a lot like that. If I had better lighting right now, I would show you. I don't 
know anybody in the resin stuff that didn't binge watch Natasha and Adam's videos. And if anyone said they didn't watch, I'd be like, you're a liar. This is not possible. I needed it for my stone setting. Okay. So, y'all, it looks so much better in person, but it's fine. So, I think that looks good there. Put this one here. I'm just slightly letting them rest up on the... Nope, that one doesn't need to rest. That one's resting. So that when it... Nay, nay, thank you. <laughs> B, I feel like a stripper. People are just throwing dollars. Not complaining. It's the first time I've ever felt like a stripper, I swear. Should I add these in too or save it for another one? I think for sure I'm going to add some of the crystals from just resin for sure, for sure. Clara, you know me too well. Y'all are so amazing. Thank you so much. They're trying to make me cry. I know it. Look at this. All that for a paintbrush? I'm going to use that box, though. Bethany! She said, jumping on the bandwagon. Y'all must know I have to go to the dentist soon or something. These are so beautiful. I don't have these in stock. I don't have these on my... I can feel it coming. Um, I don't have these anywhere. You have to get them from just resin dot com. I haven't watched Hustlers yet, but it's on my to-do list. No, that one sank. Oh, well. It wasn't meant to be that one. It's true, I do have to go to the dentist soon. So by placing these um, handles, there's another one. By placing these handles in here while the resin is wet, it's going to allow for um, it's going to go ahead and bond to it so I don't have to worry about like drilling into the shape after the fact and worry about like splitting it. Drilling into resin is just scary to me. These stones are so pretty. No. Another one fell. It's fine. Okay. Do what? Beautiful. So the handles are actually um, coral. Lynn, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. 
they're, they're going crazy on me. It's not sticky. It's sticky. Okay, I'm going to post the true color video because this is doing 0% justice. He's talking about another piece, you guys. Don't get crazy. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to sand this piece of I can't brighten it. I have no idea. Y'all are amazing. I'm doing my best to keep my composure. Cause y'all are crazy and awesome. I do want you guys to know that every dollar that comes through the channel goes right back into the channel and it's all so appreciated. I don't even have words. So. Yeah, I'll show them what it what it gets it gets this is literally this is it's probably the cheapest brushes I ever bought but look at this hold on this is how we keep painting because of y'all this is like $12 <laughs> in this pack they're not like super good brushes but I don't mind I don't need like super expensive brushes <clears throat> Um, especially when, I, when I'm just doing more of a watercolor, some acrylic, because I don't use oil. But these were like, I think this was like maybe 15. That's funny, these smaller ones were cheaper than these. But yeah. And foam brushes, it all goes back in. It all goes back so we can paint. Y'all, holy cow, look at this color. They can't see it. How? They could see that. That looks amazing. You can't see the aqua. And it's upside down. How is it upside down? See, I don't know anything. Sorry, y'all. It is a little aqua. Sorry for all the movement. I was just gonna do a true color video. Well, I can see if I can bring that in. Yeah, you can't see the teal and the aquas in there. That's so weird. There it is a little bit. It's a little better. Um, Jason, it's an HG6618 by Amtake. We have that linked in the description box below this video. Oh, look at there. Look at y'all. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I'm gonna, will you post a true color video? Oh, now it's all blown out. <laughs> yeah, we just can't win for losing with these lights. Nope. Today's just not the day. Sorry, y'all. How, how is it that? Whoa. Sorry, that was me. You tell on beans. I 
and that rippling under the everything from crumpling it up makes it look even more depthy. Mm -mm, that's not words. <laughs> Clara, you're sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. Is it showing? Oh, goodness. Hi, guys. I haven't seen you all day. Okay. Okay. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm going to put this up in the dust free zone. heard the ding. Must be Clara telling me I had no sound. <laughs> you guys are absolutely amazing and brilliant. Hi. Cujo wanted to come up and say thanks. A big kiss. Thank you. Ooh. I don't have words, you guys. Thank you from every region of my heart. None of these show that teal, like. No, it's uncapturable, just resin. Okay, you don't have to go down. What's the thing? Um, we're gonna post a true color video shortly. Stay tuned for that. Um, Moo's doing okay. He's going in for a checkup and some, some shots. I'm sorry for sniffling. Oh, thank you, Sue. I know, Vamp. These allergies, they got me. I got got, y'all. Um, I've lost my train of thought. But, can you get her? Will you tell Laura that we're going to have to come up there and thank her personally? <laughs> For sure. Did you see what she did? Oh. Laura? You're spoiling all the ATD. This is amazing. Okay. Oh, okay. All the makeup's coming off now. But we're fine, right? We're good. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in and seeing what we're up to today. Can you say bye to everybody? <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to do this video so it comes out just right, you guys. And oh. you still can't, you, there's so much blue that the teal is just hidden. That's what it looks like. Tonight's live pour. All right. Well, now that you have successfully made her cry <laughs> in good, good tears, um, thanks for joining her tonight. I've been out. I would be helping her, but I've been out at Makers making all the geodes and the sticks and the coasters. I think I got there at 11 and I just got home. Yeah. So, um, you guys have an awesome Tuesday night. Thanks for showing up. We still got the giveaway going on. Um, and we have her prints. Um... 
don't know where they're at. We have her prints available now, her lip print. We have five different lip prints um, on 8x10. Super awesome on the website. Um, my prints are on there as well. I have four prints of my past artwork that I loved that I got to turn into prints finally. Um, all of on our website, artistilldeath.com. I think you can buy all this stuff on our website tonight that she used. Um, if not, ask us and we'll let you know where we get it. So, with that said, um, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for everybody that donated, which it looks like quite a few. Um, Y'all are crazy, crazy, crazy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Laura, Just Resin, Clara. Um, I didn't see who else. Lynn. Lynn. Bethany, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, we will see you tomorrow. It's Wednesday? Yeah. Probably 8 o'clock. So we'll see you later. Bye. It's a bye. <clears throat>